Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to save your SHSH2 blobs for iOS 12.1.1 beta 3 while it's still being signed. Now blobs are not required to jailbreak but are very useful to jailbreakers as they will let you later restore to an unsigned version of iOS. So as you guys can see, I have a ton of blobs here. I can pretty much restore to any version of iOS 12 I so desire, even though some of these are no longer being signed. Now in this video, I'm including support for A12 iPhone users so people with the 10s, 10s Max, and 10R can also save their blobs correctly as A12 introduces nonce entanglement, making things a bit more complex. Now blobs have to be saved for your specific device while the firmware is still being signed by Apple in order to use them. And at the time of recording this video, iOS 12.1.1 beta 3 is still being signed. And that's gonna be the only version A12 users can successfully save their blobs for that's going to be jailbroken in the near future. Again, this is just a tutorial on saving blobs so they can be used later. If you guys wanna learn more about blobs or want to see a tutorial on how they're actually used, check out my other videos down below or in your cards now. Okay, well let's get directly into things. Well, for devices like the iPhone 5S all the way up to the iPhone 10, so A7 to A11 processors, you guys have it pretty easy. You're just going to connect your phone via a standard lightning cable so you can view it within iTunes. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that up and go to our devices summary page. Page. Now I have my iPhone 10, which has an A11 processor right here. You're going to click on serial number twice, and that's going to produce our ECID. Now, next up, we're going to head to this TSS Saver website right here. Again, links down below. Now, once we're here, we can easily enter our iPhone's ECID right here. Again, this is only for A7 to A11 devices. Then we can select our identifier. Again, this can be found just by clicking on ECID one more time. So I have an iPhone 10 6. So right there, iPhone 10 6. And then we can click I'm not a robot, click on some fire hydrants, click verify and then click submit right there. That's it, that's all you guys have to do for A7 to A11 devices. And then if you guys click on this link right here, this will show you your blobs. And as you guys can see, the TSS Saver website has been updated to include iOS 12.1.1 beta three. So even if you've yet to save blobs, you can save blobs for this specific version right here. So you can restore at any point in the near future when this stops being officially signed by Apple. All right, so that's how you guys save blobs if you guys have an iPhone 5S all the way up to an iPhone 10. So A12 devices have nonce entangling, and while I won't have time to fully cover exactly what that means, I'll briefly give you guys a summary of the most important information. Now, if you previously have saved blobs for an A12 device via this website and via the method I just demoed, unfortunately, your blobs are invalid and will not work at this time. Basically, when saving blobs, this website uses a combination of information to generate a nonce and a generator for you. Now, as you guys saw, it uses your iPhone's model identifier, as well as your ECID, as well as the firmware that's currently being signed, so iOS 12.1.1 beta 3, 12.1.3, and 12.1.4. It uses those three things, then picks a generator, and uses those four pieces of information to generate a nonce. And again, this is for A7 to A11 devices. With those devices, the formula used to generate this nonce is exactly the same from device to device. That being said, however, with A12 devices, this formula now does not work. Even if we had two iPhones that theoretically had the same ECID, and basically if all the same information was provided, the end nonce result would be different between the two A12 iPhones. So the difference now is we need to view the nonce that is generated on the A12 iPhone by actually connecting to the device. And again, this nonce is now unique for every A12 iPhone, and that's why we need to manually look it up case by case. Again, I'll just note again, iPad support has yet to come for this method, so for now, it will only work for A12 iPhones. Okay, well that's the reason why blobs are invalid for A12 devices and why you need to save blobs using this new method. So what do you need before we start? Well, you need Cydia Impactor in order to sideload this application right here. It's a nonce setter. It's pre-compiled into an IPA 
four A12 iPhones, and it uses the voucher swap exploit to achieve this. You're obviously going to need an A12 device connected via a standard lightning cable. And then the very last thing that's kind of odd, you're going to need this installed. Basically, you just take this command right here, copy and paste that into terminal, and Homebrew then will let us use the brew command right here to brew install Libby mobile device. It's a future restore dependency, and we're going to use this dependency to look up a couple things using these commands. But again, these commands are found within Libby mobile device, and to get that, you need Homebrew. All right, so with all of that in place, here is my iPhone XS Max right here. The only thing I've done so far is I've sideloaded the voucher swap little nonce setter right here for A12 devices in advance for this video. All right, so to start off, you basically sideload that application, like I said, then we can go ahead and open this guy up. And really not much is going to happen on device or on screen. It's just going to come up and say ready once it's done. Now what this program is doing is it is setting your generator to zero times one and then there's 16 ones. And if it crashes out like that, just try it again. You might have to restart your device and try it a couple times. All right, so the second time it worked perfectly fine. That is all you're gonna see on device once it's done. It just says ready. You don't have to press anything else. You can actually exit out of the program. That is all we need to do on device. Again, keep your device connected to the computer because the rest is performed within terminal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up a terminal window on my computer right here and we're just gonna enter a couple commands. Now the first thing, just to see if you guys have Libby Mobile Device installed correctly, you can just type in iDevice Info. And I'm actually going to unplug my iPhone 10 so this thing doesn't get confused. Only my iPhone 10 as Max is connected right now. So if all goes well, this command should appear and create something like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open just a little bit more because it exports quite a bit of code right here. And there's a lot going on, but we just need one thing. And we need our unique device ID right here. Now this is your UD ID, and uh, really you don't need to run this command. If you want, you can just go into iTunes, and uh, I skipped it, there we go, UD ID. That is that number right here. Now we just need to copy that for the next command. Now again, referring to my notepad right here, the next command that we're going to run is I device enter recovery, no spaces there, and then you're going to put a space at the very end and paste in that UD ID. Now when you click enter, you notice your device will restart. It's going to enter recovery mode. And this is where we're going to gather our knots. So the generator has been set by the knot setter program. That is our generator. Again, let's start a text edit thing real fast so we can write this down. Generator. It's zero times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's 16 ones after, I'll link it down below. That's your generator. That is the generator that the non-setter application is going to set for every device. Now this is where things are going to be different by case by case, is the nonce on every single A12 device is going to be different. So I'm just gonna start this up in my notepad and write nonce. And we're gonna write this down in just a second. So now the command that we need to run is I recovery space minus Q. And then we can click enter and it's going to give us some more information. Now what we're looking for here is right at the end, it says N-O-N-C. And this right here guys, that is your knots. So copy and paste that down. Now we have our generator and our nonce to use with our blobs. And then very lastly, we just need to kick our device out of recovery mode so we can go I recovery minus N, enter. And now it's going to restart our iPhone. Again, now we're entirely done with our iPhone and it's back into its original state. Um, the rest is now done on the computer. All right, so we can actually get out of terminal. We're done doing terminal commands. Hopefully that wasn't too challenging for you guys. We can get out of iTunes. Really the only thing we need now is our notepad. So I'm gonna put that guy right over here. And now we can actually go to the TSS Saver website. I take that back. We do need one thing within iTunes. Once again, we need our ECID right here. We can just go ahead and copy that. 
Now this starts out the same, enter your ECID right there. Again, my model identifier is iPhone 11 6. So if I go to identifier, I'll go 11 6 right there. And now everything that we just did, this is where it comes into play. We're going to manually specify an AP nonce advanced users only. And we're going to copy and paste what we just gathered from terminal in right there. We can select I'm not a robot one more time and have some fun selecting cars and uh, verifying it. And then finally, guys, we can hit submit right here. And now our blobs for this device are saved on the TSS Saver website. Again, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you are brand new to saving blobs, which I am for this device, you're only going to have 12.1.1 beta 3 as it's still being signed, and you're going to have 12.1.3 and 12.1.4 as those are still being signed as well. But again, as of right now, the only firmware that the jailbreak is going to be for that you can save your blobs for is 12.1.1 beta 3. Again, just to reiterate, saving blobs is not required to jailbreak. It's just required to restore to an unsigned version of iOS. Anyway, guys, definitely save your blobs right now for A12 devices because if you guys are running iOS 12 to 12.1.2, you're able to use this nonce generator and actually set the generator to one that you know, and this nonce right here is going to be the same as long as you use this generator. Now, in the near future, if you guys are on iOS 12.1.3, and you don't have a nonce generator and there's not a jailbreak out for that firmware, at that time, it's not going to be possible to save blobs for A12 because you won't be able to set your generator to one that you've specified or to one that you know. Basically, every time your device restarts, this nonce will be different because that generator will be different. But in this tutorial, we set that generator to something that we know, and that's why this nonce right here is so important. But the great news is now that we have that nonce and now that we have our blobs saved, this website will continually save new firmwares um, that come out. So when iOS 12.2 comes out, since I've already inputted this nonce right here, it'll automatically save iOS 12.2 blobs with this nonce, which I know the generator for. So if you guys save blobs now, while it's possible to set your generator um, for A12 devices, that is, that's gonna be the way to go. Again, you really don't have to worry about this if you don't have an A12 device, um, but this entire tutorial was kind of centered around A12 devices because it's pretty common knowledge how to save blobs, in my opinion, um, for other devices. It's the A12 uh, that's relatively new and unknown on exactly how you do it. And there's been so many tutorials out lately, and after doing some research, this is the best path I've found and the easiest, most straightforward path to save your blobs. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, definitely give it a huge thumbs up. And uh, if you guys want to see more videos just like this, subscribe and uh, let me know down below in the comments section. Anyway, hopefully some good jailbreak news will be coming soon. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.